Well, hello everybody, Smith here, and welcome back to part two of Coastal Waters add-on, which is due to release very soon. The reason why we've done part two and we'll do part three is there are so many fish and creatures to show you. These were just some of the fish we showed you in episode one. Uh, they are swimming everywhere. Uh, we've got, there's a shark over there, a hammerhead shark as well. So there's some big Big creatures as well as small creatures. Gagut's Animations has made this add-on. We've showcased it before, guys, uh, but this is the latest version. You can see we showed these last time. The fish can be got to shoal together as well, which is really cool for your exhibits. Uh, it will be out very soon. There are uh, probably, well, there's over 100. Oh, I say there's nearly 100. There's, uh, there's over 75 now. And what's really cool, oh my God, look, they're, all, they're everywhere. But uh, these were all done in the last video. Also, guys, we have seahorses. And uh, after my video, Gaguts has been on to me. Uh, he's ma they've been making some more seahorses. The, the big ones like these and the pygmy ones as well. So they're super cool. Right, so, uh, and we had the ray last time. So we have got chests galore. As I showed you last time, guys, we've got six chests full of of uh, creatures uh, they were the first chest that was the second chest we've actually grouped all the creatures in this video we've grouped them all together so we've got this chest to show you lots of angel fish but there's lots of other fish as well and we got this chest which has got some more in uh, and then for the third video we'll be doing those it's just too many fish to show you guys uh, so without further ado let's get cracking with the first batch so Gaguts has actually completely revamped most of the creatures, guys, and added loads of new ones. When you get new ones, it will show new ones. There's a new one. So the new multicolor angel fish is new, whereas the pygmy one was a, a, red, a redux of the ones before. So uh, there are new and updated fish. So let's start with foxed-faced rabbit fish. We have three different types of these guys. Uh, oh, and you can see the quality of this add-on. This is going to truly enhance your Minecraft oceans. We're in the latest version of Bedrock, guys. Uh, it's really good. Uh, Bicolor Fox. Oh, look. So what's the difference between that and that? Oh, that's that's darker. Yeah. And obviously, thanks for all the comments from the last video. I know some of you are really knowledgeable on these fish and creatures. So it's really good to see the comments from you. Yeah. Uh, because uh, especially the extra information because there are so many and I know people have got particular favorites so the last but not least is the magnificent foxed face oh wow superb and these are, uh, some come with shoaling things when we get the shoaling things we'll show you <laughs> oh my god they are really cool so the chests have been put in so I can differentiate from between the varieties of fish so now we've got the angel fish guys this is a new one never seen before in my previous videos oh 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 that's the unusually bright colors but the angel fish do I know so there we go there's the multicolor one here is the pygmy one so some of them are quite small here is the coral beauty oh wow let me just see in fact I need to just go that down here a bit really that is a beautiful fish isn't it that's lovely uh black box angel fish so you can have aquariums now in Minecraft Bedrock and PE. Uh, Bicolor angelfish. Oh, that's quite a large one compared with the others. So all the angelfish we're going to have them all together here, guys. Right, we have got a lot of angelfish. The emperor angelfish. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at the little fins down below. Excellent. Right, next up we have the bandit, bandit angelfish. I'm so happy that they've done so many angelfishes. I really like them. Oh, a yellow, yellow angelfish. Uh, white tail angelfish. And you can see why, guys. There's a lot of coloration to be done. We have the flame. Oh, I do like the bright ones, I must admit. So serene. You're going to need some big fish tanks for this add-on, guys. Tibbiken angelfish. 
Oh, that's lovely coloration as well. See, for me, all of them are just so good. Scribbled angelfish. This is a new one. Hello there. <laughs> They're all coming to see me now. A scri Whoa, that's a big one. Scribbled angelfish is one of the new ones. <laughs> I love the come and see me. Uh, Singapore angelfish. So what, uh, Kagats has been working mad hours updating all these fishes. Oh, just so gorgeous. Oh, this looks good. The king angelfish. Oh my God, look at these. We can have a lot of these. These are just so good, aren't they? Wow, we like those. Right, so there is the schooling option. What we'll do is put it down and hopefully we might get them schooling. Let's see, we ready? What will happen is we will find out because that thing floats around and then they start going for it. Uh, I don't know which. Oh, 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 they're off. And, they, and then start collecting them. Look, 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 look. So when you put one down, yeah, yeah, put one down and you'll find certain angel fish school. It might do two lots. Should we do, should we do a second one there? <laughs> that is the schooling option. I just love it. It's just so cool like we saw before. So uh, that was the regal, did we? Yeah, that was a regal one. Oh my God, look at this. Amazing. Oh, wow. That is so good. Oh, wow. Oh, can't wait to get them schooling together. That'd be really cool. Uh, Queen Angel Fish. Oh, my God. Look at these. These are just as good as well. Gosh. Uh, pygmy cherub, little one, but that is just as cute as the big ones. Oh, wow. No. Right, so we did the cherub. Next up, the peppermint. Oh, my God. It's like a it's like a red and white pepper peppermint. Oh, my God. Look at the colors. They are good. Angelfish galore. I want to have tanks next time. Uh, pearl scale angelfish. Oh, yes, I can see the pearl color. <laughs> uh, blue face hey i like the fact we've got the big and small ones i think that's really cool the fact is in real life they are different sizes and there are so many of them excellent superb <laughs> oh wow right uh lemon peel <laughs> oh, that is gorgeous. Look at the scales. Wow, look at the scales on that. This is new. Uh, I've liked the way the scales have been done now as well over the top. Japanese angelfish. Oh my gosh. So we just have two more angelfish, guys. We've got the blue girdled. Oh, yes. It does look like a girdle. You're right. Blue girdled angelfish. And the African flameback. Which is another flame back fish. Right, so let's have a look at all these, what they look like. You see, this is what I mean. Just having an angel fish tank. Oh, there's the ray. Oh my god, they'll all come out here. Just having just having uh they're just so many. It's just brilliant, I tell you. Just absolutely brilliant. Oh, that's just the king angel fish. Okay. Okay, okay, that's why only the king angel fish were uh, were spawning. So this this which one was the king one by the way? King angel fish. So it was only that one. That's why only that one actually goes round. So we'll just bring these in over here. Just bring them in. Bring a load here, and then we'll put the spawning down. There we go. And they should actually start. Oh, that 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 ones they are doing it. So if I put another one down here. They will do it together. So that's only one type of angel. It would be good if we could have all the angel fish to go in. But that's pretty good. Right. Let's move on to the next fish. Right, guys. So now we're on the damsel fishes. Yes, quite a few damsel fishes. I can't remember how big. They're quite small, these. This is small damsel fish. That was the dom domino. I can see why. Uh, this is the lemon. Well, they're quite fast compared with the other ones, aren't they? So the animations are different for each fish. They're quite fast. Uh, yellow tail. So it's blue with a yellow tail. St 
stripey damsel. <laughs> Pink. Oh, this is new. Tamboli's damsel fish. Oh my gosh. How beautiful is that? Wow. Uh, schooling for damselfish. Now, I wonder, that's interesting, whether we will get, uh, whether that's all damselfish. We will find out, guys. Uh, we will put one there and see if they all congregate together. Uh, black and gold damselfish. There we go. Four striped damselfish. I, mean, I think they're all zooming. They're all zooming now, guys. They're all zooming. Uh, pale damselfish. Oh, that's cute. So we have three more damselfish. This is the honey orange. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is superb. <laughs> superb. And then we have the Arna's damselfish, which is new. That's a cute little ditty one, isn't it? And then one that's got a similar, similar is Dam is it Azor one, which is similar. Let's just have a look at that. That's got that. Is this like, oh, that's like I've got a wavy tail. This is more angular. And look at this, guys. We got, the, we got angelfish. They've started. Here they have. They've all started. They're following the little. I just love the shoaling. I think that is just a, a brilliant thing. And they'll be off. They'll be off. We come back later. We find all sorts of fish shoaling. Right. So next up, guys, we have the dotty backs. This is a new one. It's called a jaguar dotty back. Excellent. Uh, also, if there's any missing of particular varieties, I know Gugut's animations would like to hear which ones like uh, which ones are missing. I know, like creating them. A neon dotty back. Whoa, we've had this before, but uh, that is a nice fish. And then we got these. We've got the royal. Oh, look at the little pink splashes. That's why I call dotty backs, because they've all got dots on them. Then we have the purple stripe, which has... Well, these have definitely been updated since I last saw them, because it's now got the dotty bits. They're a bit fast to see, but I'm sure you can see them. And then this is just the orchid one. Oh, what a beautiful colour. And last but not least, we've got the leer, liar tail. Now, this is a new one, which we haven't seen before. Oh, my gosh. Yes, can we have some more dotty back, please? They're very vivid. Very vivid colours. Very nice. So next up, we have unicorn fish. Whoa, I can see why that's a big fish. Whoa, yeah, that is definitely a unicorn fish. Never seen one of those in my life, guys, but probably have on David Attenborough. They are lovely. Uh, and a blue striped unicorn fish. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's only two varieties of unicorn fish. They are just totally unreal. <laughs> they are unicorn fish. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And then, oh, striped merlin. So this is a one-off fish. Oh, my God. Look at them go. Striped merlin. I knew this was big. I knew this was big. That's why I'll only put three in, guys. Oh, Hold on a second. We've got to worry because uh, what we had last time is the big fish killing all the little fish. But those merlins are quite nice, aren't they, to say the least? Yeah, they are really good. Re it's really good to see that we've got, hey, there's the uh, shoaling again. Have we got two lots shoaling, have we? That's another little lot, isn't it, of all the bright ones we did the second time. Right, okay. Right, so next up, guys, we have the Chromis. Yes, quite a few Chromis here. And there's Shoaling for the Chromis as well. So we'll put them put them here and see what happens. Uh, so black back Chromis. Oh, these are Diddy. These are Diddy. Blue Chromis. I think most of the colours, they did say that have been updated a lot. Turnate Chromis, which is a new one. Oh, that's a beautiful fish with the gold and white. Wow. And the sunshine. Yee. 
Oh, we got. So let's just see if we can have. Let's see if we can get the chromises. Oh, they might. They might start now. It might start. The chromises might start. We'll put a few more there. Go on, off you go. There we go. We might actually have. Yeah, they might be starting to shoal anyway. Right, uh, half and half chromis. Get the shoaling guys. Half and half chromis. Wow. And blue green chromis. Oh, that is gorgeous. Is that a new one? No, it's not. I don't remember seeing that before. Wow. <laughs> so that's all the chromises. I'm sure they'll start shoaling over there. So, right, next up we have a tarpoon. Ooh. See, the trouble is some of these are violent fish, so we'll just put these in. <laughs> Look, <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just put you over here. I think we'll just bring two in. There's the tarpoon. Oh, Do you know what? All, you know, even big fish are just so good, aren't they? Right, well, there you go. There's the chromis, guys. The chromis are shoaling like mad, which is all good. That that little shoaling toy just goes mad, and it's an entity, but there we go. Right, uh, so next up, we have... I just fell in love with these last time. These are the sea dragons, guys. They are... I know there's more varieties of sea dragons. It's like I said, you know, these, these, are, these are just fantastic. Uh like we have with the, I think they're just perfect, just perfect creatures. Uh, like we have with the seahorses, I would love to see some more sea dragons. That is my only request, really, because they are just so beautiful. They're so, so beautiful. Right, uh, next up, we have the fusiliers, and these will, these will also do lots of stuff. Look at the sea dragons, right, fusilier. This one is the new banana fusilier. Okay, not very yellow like a banana, but uh, there must be a reason. It's because the eye underneath, is it? Is it the eye? Banana around the eye. Yeah, maybe. A lunar fusilier. Oh, yes, a lunar blue. A yellow back fusilier, which is brand new. This is a new creature. Wow. A yellow tail fusilier, which I've, I love the way that all these fish like have different like shades, like cats, really. There's millions of different varieties of cats. And this, and they will, we'll see. There we go. Do we get, yes, do we get, off they go. They, there they go. There they go. Look, oh, they are fast at getting into their shoal then. Oh my God, look at that. Let's get some of these to go in. Yeah, go on, off you go. Go and shoal the rest. They are the Blue Streak Fusilier. <laughs> right. So there you go, guys. They are quite good at shoaling, the old fusiliers. So the issue is how many do you want in a tank? The idea, I think, is four or five of each. And then you, once you've done that, you can do that. Right, next up then. Well, I'm still staying here because I just love these. Uh, we have the Pacific Sergeant Major, and they shoal as well. And there's... there's ooh, there's... Three new ones have done them all. I thought we had Sergeant Major last time, but they're new. This is the Pacific Sergeant Major. <gasps> oh, yes. Pacific Sergeant Major. This is the Atlantic Sergeant Major. And this is the Hawaiian Sergeant Major. And let's get them shoaling, guys. Let's get them shoaling. There we go. That worked very well. Oh, look at them when you put all the different colours together. Yeah. It's good. We've got different, look, the two different varieties of fish are now shoaling separately, which is really cool to show how that works. Brilliant. Right. A white snout anemone fish. This is, if I remember right, this is very pretty. Ah, oh, no, it's the wrong one. I was thinking of a big one. It's still pretty, guys. Sorry. Still pretty because they're all pretty. It's also got lovely colour on the top of the back as well. There we go. I was thinking of the one with the fronds on it. But there we go. Right. And uh-oh. Let's go and bring the shark over here out of the way. This is We've got three lots of sharks now. This is the reef shark. Uh, I suppose we should put it into the reef. Uh 
Wait, so Began, we've seen it before. I'll only bring two of them in here because what will happen is they'll start eating all the fish. Uh, yeah, they will start eating all the fish. But you can see they also, I never mentioned, these all spawn naturally. Not as many as these guys. But there we go. So that's a reef shark. So I keep coming across different shoaling fish everywhere. They're brilliant. Uh, so those sharks aren't eating all the fish, but they're just sort of swimming around. So we've got two more sharks. I'm definitely going over here, guys, because there's just too many. Uh, we'll go right over here. This next shark, we've have we seen it? The whale shark. Yes, we saw it in the first episode, I think. Yes, we saw it. It's a beautiful whale shark. It's a really good rendition of a whale shark as well. Really like it, really slow and methodical the way they do. Really captured the uh, essence of them. So this is the hammerhead. We've seen this swimming round as well. Let's put it down here. Let's put the hammerhead down here, eh? Looks a good place in it. So these are the hammerheads. I like the way, I think that's how it should be. I think we should have them uh, non-attacking uh, and eating all the fish. I think that's a good thing to actually have. To, if you want to put them from show, I don't want them just eating everything and causing mayhem. We've had other add-ons and mods that just cause mayhem. So I think it should stick to being sort of ambient and beautiful and wandering around. I think that would be a really cool. Like this one here. That is so good. That is so good, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. you just got to agree that's gorgeous. Well, they also come up as well. I mean, yeah, but yeah, that is just wonderful to say the least. Hammerhead's nice as well, because we like hammerhead sharks. Right, now some moray eels, guys. we got three moray eels. We're going to put them over here as well. It's just easier, guys. Oh, a seahorse naturally spawn. We'll put the morays over here. So this is the green moray eel. We'll bring two of each in of those. That's spinning because of the old usual sand trick. Go on, off you go. Off you go. Then we've got the zebra moray eel. And then we have the snowflake, which I pers my personal liking. Uh, that is my personal liking, to say the least. They are just good, aren't they? Uh, oh, why is, my, why is a lemon peel angel fish just sitting there? <laughs> uh, I don't know. That, that's odd. Uh, did we miss that one out? Anyone? I've done this before, guys. It's a lemon peel angel fish. Sorry, little uh, lemon peel angel fish. I'm sorry we missed you. You must have been hiding somewhere. Uh, then we have oh, great barracudas. We've definitely taken these away. These, I think, if I'm right, these were the ones that really went for it. But they're really nice. I think they've been changed. Yeah, look, see, the barracudas are eating everything. Not happy about that. We need to stop the barracudas eating everything. I think they're like the other sharks and that. I think they don't need to eat anything. Right, guys. So parrotfish. Let's move back over here because uh, we're getting death and destruction over here. Uh, oh, this, the whale sharks are here. They're quite happy, I think. They're not causing mayhem. So let's do this over here, guys. So these are the parrotfish, queen parrotfish, which is new. Oh, my gosh. Are they good or what? Wow. Oh, they're very communicative. Oh, we like that. Uh, princess parrotfish. <gasps> oh, wow. They are nice. And a midnight parrotfish. How many types of parrotfish are there? Oh, I like them. We like big fish as well. Medium-sized fish. They are really nice fish. Yes, we like all of those. Uh, a sprat. So this is a... Uh, oh, this has changed. There's a number of... Uh, commercial fish, sprat being one of them, that have commercial fish. Yeah, I've left it right to the end. So this is one of the commercial fish in the third pot, which you can also have the sprats all swimming together as well. So there's a commercial fish schooling option, for, and that sprat is one of the commercial fish. There we go. Right, a candy basslet. These are diddy little basslets. Looks like candy sweets, doesn't it? A Swiss guard basslet swales. It's a new one. Excellent. Superb. 
Right, we've got some more bastlets here. They're all candy bastlets, but they are particularly nice. Now, as the bastlets are particularly nice, I would like a schooling option, please, for these. I think the bastlets, like, I think that's the sort of thing where if you had them in, maybe not, maybe the bastlets should just go in a small tank together. This is a peppermint bastlet. Oh my gosh. And this is the black cat bastlet. So they are really nice, to say the least. Yeah, that, I think it would be nice to have bastlet schooling option. Uh, for the tanks. I think that would be really good. Excellent. Oh, here we go. Manta rays. We'll put a manta ray over here. I don't think these are as bad as the others, but these are gorgeous creatures. Look at this. Manta ray. <laughs> oh my God. They are just so cool. Do you agree that the manta... Oh my God, they're very fast as well really are fast my gosh they do go very fast guys i'm trying to keep up with this and it's not my word they are just so cool oh manta rays and uh sea trout Sea trout. I don't know how bad these are at eating things. Rather than river trout. Oh, yes, they're nice, aren't they? Sea trout. <laughs> and maybe after the uh, coastal waters, you could do river fish as well. <laughs> Keep you going for years, this add on. <laughs> so there we have it, guys. That's the end of this episode. Uh, they, that, we, there are so many fish. I particularly like these as well. I just like them all. They're just so good. So we're looking forward to this release. Uh, it's still working very hard. Uh, it put some five more varieties have come in as well since I did the first video. Look at this. This is from last episode. Uh, so hope you've enjoyed this, guys. You are so gorgeous. Yes, we love you. <laughs> Where's he gone now? Have I just picked it up? Uh, yeah, so... That is it for this video. Uh, there'll be one more episode, guys. And then what we'll do is from that point, we'll do updates until the release. It's very soon by all accounts, but I can't give you a date. So thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.